Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports. The weekend of hoop. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And for the home team... Field goal attempts, only one made. And the ball goes up. Out of bounds, turned over. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. at six from down low can't hit one oh two left to play in the first quarter number twenty four can't hit solid defense there did what it had to do to bother him here's Fournier knocks down the three ball Fournier's got his first three points of the game boy I should Seconds left in the first quarter. Puts up a three. No good. Number 23. Shot is off. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. France leading by three. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. point a closely contested game as we start the second quarter and looking at what we've seen so far guys from the visiting team what do you think so difficult to get a shot off against this defense they are really playing hard yeah they're playing hard and they pride themselves on making it tough for their opponents 
And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Gentlemen, remember, Kevin Love was the fifth overall pick back in 2008. And through hard work, he's transformed his body and expanded his game. He said, I love people telling me what I can do, telling me this is your ceiling. I think all kids in basketball should never put a limit on themselves. I was able to get out of my comfort zone, and because of that, I'm a much better player. Not only physically, but mentally as well. Kevin? Yeah, his great skill level has always been his own. Thanks, Doris. Beyond the arc. Gets it to go. And it's all knotted up. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. He kicks the point in. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And he misses the go-ahead basket. 23% for the field. That's not going to get it done. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Number three. good guys he's actually indefatigable he never gives in never gives up on a play and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebound you've got to be relentless number 24 no good on the triple boy in the film session they'll say that was a well challenged shot he hangs, and he lays it up and in the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Lock at six. From deep. Looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. Here's Fournier. Count it. The defender is called for the block, and this could turn into a three point play. You know, I understand that sometimes you just want to sit back and enjoy watching him put up points, but not if you're the defense. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Number 10, defended by Fournier. Number 10. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the... He was the bigger guy. Here's Fournier. He has six. Number four. Connects from three-point range. They're doing much better now. I mean, in the first quarter, they converted less than 30% of their field goal. They bounced back nicely here. Number 12. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. How about the risk? Well, nice job to recover those three points right away. Here's Fournier from outside the arc. Shot is off. To the middle. Lays it up and banks it in. Five points in the game. 34 seconds left now here in the second. He was all alone on that one. You know, it looks long from downtown, so I think this is the right adjustment. Try to get the ball inside, go to something new. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Number 12. 
Eldred with the triple. And the first half ends in a close one. France up four. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And now, the Sunday night edition of the Halftime Show. Some good basketball for the away team. And defensively, they've done a good job grabbing rebounds, limiting second chances. And the home club still hanging in there. Getting free throw shots at the line. Good hard-nosed basketball. That's been their meal ticket. And that'll do it for us here in the studio. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the game. in this game. They are not a pretty side out there offensively. Fires for three, and that one's good. The thing you notice right off the bat from the statistics, just his three-point percentage. I mean, it's a terrific number, and it's a combination of things. Good shot selection, mechanics are solid, and his movement on the perimeter is outstanding. And the consistency of his jump shot is another thing we should say about him. I mean, it doesn't matter how many defenders are flying at him, his stroke is never changing. Can have the basketball just over a minute played so far. Five to shoot. Number 19. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Gone 0-2 from deep to start things in the second half. The dish to Fournier. Number seven. Traps in the tray. He's got five. Yeah, he has to be frustrated by how his offense is flowing. And I can't blame him. You know, they're getting good looks out there, but the shots just aren't falling. And that can get into a team's head if it goes unchecked, continuing to miss good shots. So this time out might be a way to combat that. and a half into the third quarter of action. one each at the line. Unfortunately, that's been the result for him over and over, guys. He just cannot find the bottom of the basket. Jacks up a three. That's no good. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He usually knocks that one down with ease. He feeds it to Fournier. 
passes it to Gobert. That's good. Gobert's got four points in the quarter. Very clever passing. That was just beautifully done. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Number 24, rejected by Gobert. And so out of bounds it goes. And they retain position. what they're looking for down the stretch Clark more of the same get it inside here's Fournier he's got eight no good from the wing for the lead shot is off gone just one of five from the field shoots the three gets it to go six points for him a wide open three they need much better communication defensively Going to somewhat so far, 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Number 19. Number 6. again to the paint that's a floater go and that's going to do it for the third quarter France up Execution. Nice pick. You just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. The guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. Gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter. So they are two of six. He dishes it to Fournier. There's the three. Here's Gobert. And it's good. Fought through contact. It's the shot. Of from outside. Very little success for him behind the arc today. Just one three-pointer in the first half and still good in the second. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Number two. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Well, that is Rugged play under the board. You gotta go in there physically and aggressive. Boy, the floor really opened up for him there. He's 
sure did. I mean, that was a very late reaction from the defense there. Gone all of three so far in the fourth quarter from long range. here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He said, no time to waste, fellas. We've got to pick it up right now if we're going to make a comeback and try to win this thing. Let's go all out. Back to you. They've been getting way too many high percentage looks close to the basket. And tell you what, when they're getting them, they're converting. You know, the play in the paint, an aspect of this game that has gone entirely their way. It's rebounded by Gobert. The guy has a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, I agree. Got to use some clock here. Hit his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. shooting performance for him today, but luckily for them, a lot of his teammates have come through. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Number six. And he can't stop the run as he misses. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department, too. Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for, but that's the way it should be. You should feel that you've competed when you do that work inside. Number 19, offline from the top of the key. Some of the shots he's taken have been real head scratchers. I mean, come on, he's out there playing like it's a game of horse at the park. Has to go there. Number two, gets it to go from beyond the arc. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, that's how you close out a game, Steve. Number 22, trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Got a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Dishes it to Fournier. No good on the three. This one for three. No good. And so the road team gets the W in this one. You know, Clark, every team has a bit. 